What's up, Randers? Welcome to the Geek Chest. My name's Steve. My name's Ernest. And today we're going over the God or Playmates Godzilla vs. Kong. Got a little ahead of myself. The Hong Kong Battle Godzilla. I am so confused about this guy because he's like half see-through, half purple. Is that Godzilla's new ability? Is he's partially translucent now? It's like the uh, man bear pig. Half man, half bear, half pig. <laughs> right? You don't know what it is. I think the thing that kind of infuriates me about this is Kong was literally just a repaint, while this one actually has some like new, like kind of cool things going on with it. Yeah, it actually put an effort into it. Yeah, so I'm actually sort of pumped for this one. Uh, main reason we got it, we just buying all the Playmates stuff, so we had to buy it. We just had to. On that, it looked kind of cool. Uh, but this is supposed to be kind of like replicating like the neon lights from the city. Reflecting on the kaijus, slash, like, him shooting his beam would make the blue. Um, is that what that is? Like, sort of? Yeah, it's supposed to be, like, because you can see on the back of the package, you have, like, the neon lights from the city, and that's kind of what's reflecting off everything. Neon lights and, okay, I kind of got it now. It's a little mixture. That's kind of where, like, the purples come from. Um, but... Anyways, let's get into this guy. So without further ado, for the packaging, same as all the other Playmates ones, with Godzilla Call on the top, some blue on the bottom with the name, Blockbuster Movie, Battle Damage Reveal, which is also translucent plastic. We'll get into that here in a few. Got some burning buildings on the whoa, side whoa, whoa, whoa. here. Whoa, 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 stop, 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 stop. Burning. Turn it around. Does that mean the Battle Damage thing, that is that the red stuff that we see, is that part of Mechagodzilla or what? I, I don't think Mechagodzilla has a rib cage. Shh, people don't know that, Steve. Everybody still thinks that Godzilla is just Mega Godzilla. I that, that was a point, Steve. God bless it. <laughs> Which it could be, but he has battle damage, so I'm assuming no. Um, back of the package. Uh, just There's that extreme one again. Yeah, right. I think it's only on the Hong Kong ones we've been seeing so far. The earth shaking power of Godzilla is in your hands as the King of the Monsters unleashes his devastating heat ray and skyscraper shattering tail swipe to battle Kong for the monster throne. And some legal moment jumbo on the bottom. But anyways, let's get him open up of his cardboard prison. All right, so now we got Hong Kong battle Godzilla open up of its cardboard prison. First and foremost, he comes with the beam. I'm more excited about this guy, I don't think, than any of them. Um, I think in terms of just overall, like, displayability, yeah. he's definitely the coolest of the bunch, because there's just so many colors. Like Aaron said, he looks like a marmot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I think if you're into, like, the f funky color Godzilla toys, this thing's going to be a little bit more up your alley than somebody looking for something more movie accurate, per se. Um, but I do like that he actually comes with the beam, because it would have been weird to have all this coloring and not have this thing. So I think that's a bonus. In comparison to like Mecha Godzilla, which has a spot for a beam, but none. You'll also have to attach the tail. I'm not going to pop it back off because this thing was a pain in the butt to get it back on. Oh, come on, Steve. You got to do it the right <laughs> way. Check the unboxing video if you guys would like to see how that is. Uh, but you just want to make sure you're going straight into the figure here. So as to not possibly damage the um, uh, the joint there. But outside of that, thankfully he's fairly cheap. No, he might be a little bit hard to get rid of, get a hold of, um, especially as of the recording of this video, but I'm sure they'll be more widely available. Uh, just sort of like how the original figures were. Um, but anyways, outside of that, for a closer look at his details. For his head sculpt, super translucent. Got a little bit of black here for the back of the skull, for the front. It's blue all the time, with a little bit of purple here for the neck region, and the undersection of the chin. I think they actually did that color scheme on it really good. Right. It's loose in with purple, just kind of fades in, just looks really presentable. Yeah, the blue, the black, and the purple really kind of make him stand out a bit. The only thing that's odd is they didn't give him pupils. Yeah, that is super weird. I did look at that earlier, and I'm like, what the heck happened? You think they just could have given him, like, I don't know, like a little purple dot or something? <laughs> Anything. Right around there would have been kind of cool. Um... Because to me, it almost looks like this is like the transformation phase for him to turn into Mecha Godzilla. That is a thing. Oh my god. That would be hilarious if it is the Godzilla was Mecha Godzilla the whole time. <laughs> and right? Godzilla just shows if up people at the were end. true. Oh I, oh, I don't even know how to feel, to be fair. Um, but the front, you have the translucent plastic here, too. You do have the battle damage on here, which does come off. That is the biggest uh, downset, though. The thing I don't like is... is you have all this translucent plastic, and I I guess it's like I don't like it, but I appreciate that they painted this because it's battle damage. He needs to look battle damage, but it just looks weird. Like, the color contrast is very harsh. 
But then again, that kind of, I think, just like ha- helps to add to the selling point a little bit. Yeah. With this. But he does have some more translucent plastic for the arms. And same with the hands. But you do get the purple airbrushing on the top section here. And then the black on the under section of the arm. The rest of the body is the translucent blue. Uh, the one thing that's kind of ugly is the transition from the top section of the figure to the bottom. Yeah. It could use a little bit of airbrushing here. Just kind of help blend it a little bit better. Maybe even just like add some of the purples here. Because even for the legs are translucent too because you have the legs the blue here and then purple then black so it would be nice to have like the blue and it could have literally just took like an airbrush and just went straight down and I think would have looked better fairly presentable a little purple would have covered it just right yeah it's not horrendous by any stretch of the imagination but I think it just would have helped add to the coloring to the figure a bit same with the dorsal spines are translucent too one thing to be aware of is the purple on here does scuff off real easy I uh, could not find a figure, at least uh, where I was buying these, that didn't have some kind of issues with the paint. Oh, yeah. Shipping damage for sure. Yeah, it's got it on that side, this side as well. Um, same with the tail here. It goes from black, purple, and then into the blue. The tail, though, at the bottom is the part that bugs me because look at how it just abruptly stops right there. Yeah, because you think it'd be like the blue would just kind of keep going or something. Yeah. Because, like, the city would still be kind of, like, illuminating the tail, but it's just the tip. Now, I'm not saying I don't like it, but, again, it's kind of like the calm where I don't quite get what's going on with the coloring. Because it's the same with the spines. Yeah. It looks cool, but I don't get how the purple's here, but it doesn't hit anywhere on the top of the body. Um, because th- you would think it'd be like Godzilla's, like, spines are illuminating, so I, I wouldn't understand why it'd be blue, but... Where's the purple fall into? Because also you would think you get more of the purple here too. Because this beam would hit. So then you get the light of the city. And then the blue would be kind of here for the beam. Coming out and illuminating the arms. But like the lower section would still just be purple then. We definitely got to do some verses with these guys and the originals. Just to see the difference. See if it's, you know, worth it or not. Yeah. But I just I think in terms of just the way the coloring set up, I like the variety though, more so than the Kong. Because the Kong was just like they add a little bit of paint and call it a day. This guy at least has a little bit more going on with all the translucent plastic, and I really think helps to kind of make this guy pop a little bit better. But don't get me wrong though, he does have his issues though too. Yeah, well, like we mentioned, it's just the way the coloring set up. It's the chest strange. Piece. The chest actually the chest piece stands out really bad on yeah. this. Yeah. Um, but. Again, I think it helps to add a little bit to the charm of the figure. Uh, but for its articulation, head can rotate a little side to side. Mouth can open and close. Arms can go all the way around. Legs can go forward and back. You get some rotation at the feet, but no... Well, a little wiggle, but nothing crazy. Uh, the tail on a ball joint, so you can wiggle that all the way around and rotate it if you wanted to. Have a quick comparison. Here we have the Hong Kong Battle Godzilla compared next to some other Playmates Godzilla vs. Kong figures with the Hong Kong Battle Kong and the Mecha Godzilla. And here he is next to some more Godzilla vs. Kong Playmates figures with the Warbat and Skullcrawler. Here he is next to some 2019 Godzilla figures with the NECA Spitfire slash poster version and the 2000, or SH Monster Arts, sorry, we already went over the date. Here he is next to some other Kong figures with the SH Monster Arts 2005 and the Playmates Skull Island Kong. And here is some other Kaiju figures in my collection with the NECA Pacific Rim Horizon Brave and the Trendmasters. Nuclear Strike Godzilla in 1998. So overall for the Hong Kong Battle Godzilla from Playmates, this guy's cool. I think for 10 bucks, I like the coloring variety on him, and he's very unique looking. It is definitely unique looking, would be a perfect way of saying this. It's definitely one of my top Playmate figures for sure. I think of all the Godzilla vs. Khan, it's like... Yeah. It's probably my favorite, to be fair. Like, I think it's just like... Like... If I was just buying Monster Arts, I would have bought this guy just because he looks neat. I probably could have skipped down to every other one of these if it wasn't for YouTube purposes, but this is the one I probably would have been like, okay, here, I'd take my 10 bucks. While the other guys are just, like, serviceable, or if I wanted to get them for, if I had kids, for kid, for my kids. Um, that are, like, my little brothers, per se. Yeah, that's, I, I don't know, like... I think the paint job 
definitely outweighs the little issues that we found with the figures. So my biggest issue with this guy is actually, I don't think this one's good for kids. Yeah, because you'll get scuffed. Yeah, the paint will scuff really easy on him. So he's going to, I think, lose value in kids' eyes over time. Because I know, especially with me, when the figures start getting like damaged and scratched up, I didn't really want to play with them anymore. And this guy's going to definitely hit that threshold way faster than a lot of the other Playmates ones. So for children, I would actually probably skip out on this one and just get the normal releases. Well, for an actual collector... I think this is where this guy has a lot more selling points. What do you guys think? If you guys picked up this figure, what's your favorite of the Hong Kong Battle Godzilla figures or is Canada? Just more you think, please know in the comments. We also have an Instagram, Patreon, pictures, and Facebook. Guys, like to keep up the date with channel. Donate. We greatly appreciate it. And help us defeat those kaijus by hitting that like button, subscribe, and coming to your day. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.